Hi guys, Miro here. So in the previous part, we have implemented the validation rules on the data model. In this part, we will implement these rules in our controllers. We can start with the author controller. So navigate to our second update method. And the ASP.NET Core has some pre-built functionality for this use case. Therefore, everything what we have to do on this place is to check the model state. And when is this model invalid, we will just render the view once again. And that's it. We will get the property model state from the controller base class. We can navigate there with F12. And once again. And there is the object model state. And the property is valid belongs to this object. And this is perfect for our scenario. So close it. And we will implement the same logic for the create method. And save. Now we can try it out with F5. And there is the application. Navigate to the author view, create new author. And we will just try it out with creating new author without name. And it's not possible anymore. Or author with name, just A. And it's not going to work because of our validation. And there you go. So close the application. Now we can implement the same logic for the customer and book controller. So we will make customer first and navigate to the create method. There is it. And the same for update. Now we can save and close this controller and to the book controller. This controller will be a little bit different. Because if the validation fails on this place, we have to deliver the authors once again. So let's do it. So, and that's it. We'll just load the authors once again and assign to the authors property. And we are going to need the same logic within the update method. And that's it for now. If you don't want to miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you don't miss any upcoming parts. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.